Hello, grade 10s, and welcome to today's lesson on factorizing a difference of two squares. Let's join Shaylee, who will be helping us with this. To begin this lesson, we will look at what we mean by the difference of two squares. And let's show you now with an example. Look at a squared. It is a perfect square. It is a times a. And b squared is a perfect square. It is b times b. If we have a squared minus b squared, the minus sign implies a difference between the two terms. So a squared minus b squared is called the difference of two squares. Now in order for you to understand how to solve the difference of two squares, I want you to look at the following process. How do you multiply a plus b by a minus b? Well, a multiplied by a is going to give us a squared. And a multiplied by minus b is going to give us minus ab. Then b multiplied by a is going to give us plus ab. And b multiplied by minus b is going to give us minus b squared. So if you add your like terms, you will get a squared minus b squared. So multiplying a plus b by a minus b, we get a squared minus b squared. Do you see we are back where we started? We have a difference of two squares and we got there through the process of multiplication. Now if we reverse this process of multiplication and factorize a squared minus b squared, all we need to do is take the square root of each term. So we start off putting down our two brackets and we know the one is going to have a plus sign in it and the one is going to have a minus sign. And then we need to square root the first term. So a squared square rooted would give us a and that goes in the first place in each bracket. And then we square root the b squared and we are left with a b. And that is how we factorize a difference of two squares. Here in the one bracket, we have the sum of the square roots. Here A and B are added. And in the other bracket, we have the difference of the square roots. Here A and B are subtracted. The minus sign means difference. So from this, we can see that we can factorize the difference of two squares. So now let's try and factorize a few more of these type of expressions. Here is the first one x squared minus y squared. It is the difference of two squares. So let's factorize. We know straight away we put down our two brackets and we know inside the brackets we're going to have one with a plus sign and one with a minus sign. Now we need to find the square root of x squared and that is x and that goes in the first place in each bracket. And then we find the square root of y squared which is y and that goes in the second place in each bracket and we have now factorized. Here is the second one. Let's factorize it. 16 a to the power of 4 minus c to the power of 4. Now how do we do this one? Well it's the same. So we first put down our two brackets and then we put down a plus sign in the one and a minus sign in the other. Now we need to find the square root of 16 a to the 4. First of all, the square root of 16 is 4 because 4 times 4 is 16. So we can put down a 4 in both places. Now the square root of a to the power of 4 is a squared because a squared times a squared gives us a to the power of 4. So we put that down in the first place, a squared and an a squared. Now we move on to our second term, c to the power of 4, the square root of this would give us c squared. And we write that down. Good. But are we finished? Look again. Look carefully at the second bracket. This is the difference of two squares again. So this bracket can still be factorized further. And the first bracket? This is the sum of two squares. Can the sum of two squares be factorized? Think about it. It is not possible to write the sum of two squares as a product. In other words, that bracket cannot be factorized. 
But let's do what we can and factorize the difference of two squares. Now we can't do anything further with this bracket, so we can just rewrite it. So we write 4a squared plus c squared. Now here is our difference of two squares. So straight away we put down our two brackets and we know we're going to have one with a plus sign and one with a minus sign. Now we need to find the square root of 4a squared and we should know that that gives us 2a and we write that in the first place in each bracket and then the square root of c squared which is c and we write that in the second place in each bracket and this is our expression fully factorized. Thank you for joining us, grade 10s. Remember to try the task video at the end of this section. You'll also be able to learn more about factorizing the difference of two squares on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.